What's going on, world? It's your boy Marcus again, coming at you with thoughts and reflections of a mature man. And uh, I just want to talk real briefly about net worth. A mentor a couple of years ago asked me, Marcus, what is your net worth? And at the time, I didn't know. I mean, of course, it was negative because I had more debt than I had equity. And it really made me think about my future and where do I want to go and the things that I want to have. And so my challenge to you men today is that are you just spending money um, because it's cool for the times, trying to shine in this current age, in this current time, not putting money back for your future, not really putting money away for your child's future, not putting money back away for when you die and life continues to go on. The Bible says that um, a wise man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Which means that that person is leaving an inheritance to make sure that his family is secure based on his works. And so I want to encourage you today and all the things that you're doing. Stop. Put some money back. It's okay to shine. It's okay to be a sneakerhead. It's okay to have rims on your car. It's okay to have nice screens in your car and in your house and nice furniture and all the nice things um, that life, you know, makes life fun, makes life beneficial. But put some things away. Open up a savings account. Put some money in a savings account. Gain some equity. Buy a house. I'm trying to do that. Um, you know, pay off your cars. Make sure that you have more um, positive equity than you have debt. And, then, and, and most importantly, make sure that you have a great net worth in your personality and your spirituality and your understanding of life. Nobody wants somebody who brings baggage. So always evaluate your strengths versus your weaknesses so that you can make sure that you're adding value, adding net worth to every place that you go. That's today's thoughts from a mature man. Be blessed.